Dilemma on Vitamins and Medical Doctor Care If you have pre-existing needs for prescription meds, instead of natural foods or vitamins, while taking prescription meds vitamins can decrease intended use. Drugs of any kind can alter effects on the body, it's wise to eat natural foods and take a vitamin supplement. When taking medications, it is quicker to identify harmful side effects, and when taking vitamin supplements the side effects aren't noticed right away. If you are taking the medications below, it's best to get advice from your doctor about taking a vitamin supplement. Medications are known to interact with vitamins, multivitamin adrosyl, fluorouracil, ali, or listed, anisindian, bortezomib, calcigex, calcitriol, calcitriol, capsidabine, colcivilum, coumadin, warfarin, dicamarol, doxercalciferol, fluorouracil, hectorol, doxercalciferol, yantovin, warfarin, maradin, anisindian, or listed, paracolcytol, recoltrol, calcitriol, velcade, bortezomib, warfarin, Wellcol, colcivilum, zelata, capsidabine, xenical, or listed, and zemplar, paracolcytol. The majority of adults have 12 common cancers they live with every day, and these may be the ones you are knowledgeable of. The list of common cancer types includes cancers diagnosed with the greatest frequency in the United States, bladder, breast, colon, and rectal, endometrial, kidney, renal cell, leukemia, lung, melanoma, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, pancreatic, prostate, or thyroid. Many individuals don't believe they may live with diseases, some infectious diseases like AIDS, corona, malaria, hepatitis, or tuberculosis. Any obstacle that isn't a positive part of a healthier lifestyle based on scriptures will need overcome. Corruption doesn't start in a building, it starts with human health. Obvious signs of corruption, defilement, of the flesh, embedded tumors, and marks on the skin. These are signs of skin diseases forming. Discoloration of the skin, yellow, dark red, brown color in the white area of the eye. These are signs of eye disease forming. Discoloration in the toenail bed, yellow, red, brown, or even black shade of color. Discoloration of the mouth, red, dark red, dark brown, or even black shade of color, this includes gums, teeth, and tongue. These are signs of gingivitis a gum disease forming. Gluttonous not filling full enough to stop eating or drinking is another form of corruption. This is a sign of bacteria forming on the stomach and tongue. The love of money in the form of addictions, drugs, drinking, and gambling more signs of corruption all of which need healing, and purification to experience heaven on earth. All can result in bad hygiene and sanitation. There are other obvious signs of corruption we will discuss later. The obvious meaning of corrupt, crooked lacking of substances, avoid being less fruitful or multipliable. When people are fruitful, they grow fruit, eat fruit, share fruit, and increase in human numbers. Also, they can heal others from cancer and diseases naturally. Human deficiencies of the body form into damaged cells and organs, clots, fungus of the toenail beds, infected areas, and tumors. Damaged cells form and then start moving in another territory, and these don't like cold. They develop more during the summer, and this is how individuals age through melanoma. Tumors alter your central nervous system making it difficult to remember things, along with altering your behavior and emotions. Damaged cells spread over time making multiple cellid areas that relate to how the body spread, making it difficult to lose weight and keep it off. Once the stomach over time becomes embedded with various types of bacteria and tumors, the result is slow digestion. Yet human deficiencies can boost ego and personalities in hype mode, not to include the overtime damages. An adult wouldn't want much sex or much movement at all. Only higher amounts of natural foods are the most effective when repairing cell damage individuals get. Eventually damaged cells stop forming, break down, and move out of the body. Organs and tumors over time both become hardening or thickening therefore, it takes more time for natural foods to heal them. Discoloration of any initial pink area of the body recovers its original formation. Infected areas and fungal toenails slowly go away otherwise, all damaged cells make it hard to function properly. If you notice hardening or thickening damage areas that take longer to heal, try both eating natural foods and taking a complete vitamin supplement to allow them to heal faster. The elderly may find it rather difficult, to explain damage formation taking place in their bodies while in pain, this is why they can't move much. You tell me why would God want us to experience heaven on earth, eternity the kingdom of God, with corruption in our path? Although most individuals haven't applied any effort to live a healthier lifestyle, the enemy has stolen their joy to do so. There are 250 identifiable neurological conditions, associated with the brain not being able to function properly some include Alzheimer's disease, brain trauma and tumors, epilepsy, migraine, motor neuron disease, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, stroke and spinal cord regeneration. In which, you overanalyze stuff you buy, stuff you use mainly stuff you are unsatisfied with. Brain trust today is rare. It is uncommon to trust one's brain because most individuals advocate getting opinions from others. 
Though they advocate getting opinions it doesn't mean they want them, and this is when conflict collides. You don't trust, to a point of overanalyzing till you get nowhere. People deserve more from the brain, you need the brain to take care of daily activities, ability, or inability to perform. I pray that the human race comes together, to heal nations of the brain's trust and other obstacles we face. Healing of emotions, health, relationships, and trial tests isn't dependent on the circumstance you see, but beyond time and space facts. Daily and nightly renewal. It may work in meditating classes, but realistically everyone can't be renewed at the same time. Renewal works in various ways, this one you work toward renewal of energy every day at the time of your birth. This daily and nightly renewal will set you apart from everyone else because it is based upon the time you were born. Since I was born at 1.58 pm, this means I would take steps day and night before that time to be renewed. If possible, try it when you are in bed and don't have your eyes closed. Try it as often as you can, complete each step to feel more content with yourself. Once you are in a habit of renewal, you may feel more content with daily life. Use this time to rethink how you can do what is morally right by others. Maybe prior, you went off on someone or they went off on you. If possible, rethink while unwinding to either take steps back or give them an apology. However, try not to let others steal your joy because they may be still feeling irritable. Steps 1. Rest, relax, and close your eyes for 30 to 40 minutes. 2. Never overeat. 3. Drink plenty of water daily. 4. Don't oversay or do anything. 5. Make sure the things you do get finished. 6. Don't abandon the paths of your life. 7. Continually embody a loving and kind spirit. 8. Avoid conflict while facing fears. 9. Stand your grounds, stand for obedience. 10. Remain humble throughout trial tests. The goal is to feel less fearful and stressed, to feel content and happy with the life God has given you. The concept of a human being coming back to life after death, it is a religious concept where it's used in two distinct respects, a belief in the resurrection of individual souls current and ongoing, Christian idealism, realized eschatology, or else a belief in a singular resurrection of the dead at the end of aging or church age. What is the church age? The church age officially began on the day of Pentecost, when Jesus gave the apostles and disciples the gift of the Holy Spirit. After that, they went out to share the gospel. Read in Acts how the church grew and flourish. The church age is the period we live in now, and it continuously includes the church growing and flourishing, along with the gospel being preached and taught throughout the entire world. Matthew 28 20 The purpose of the resurrection is to be purified of the body, soul, and thoughts, this includes all uncleanness. Higher righteousness not only includes biblical knowledge also eternal life on earth, living sacrifices, but natural foods and vitamins are also all a part of a healthier lifestyle. Example of a resurrection according to Mark 12 23, the Sadducees didn't believe in the resurrection of the dead, and the Bible isn't clear whether Jesus had perished, or only appeared dead. Once Jesus was crucified his old soul ascended into the clouds and his renewed soul entered his body. Acts 1 9, 2 Corinthians 4 16, on the evening of Jesus Christ's resurrection, he told his disciples, all powers are given unto me in heaven and earth. Matthew 28 colon 18, and Jesus had a tangible body, there before the people of Jerusalem, he asked for meat to eat. Luke 24 colon 41 43, these events tell us we'll have physical bodies in eternal life. After our physical birth, the first human soul becomes tamed by spiritual warfare through short-term earthly things. After the resurrection, our second human soul is purified and renewed by natural foods and biblical knowledge heavenly for God. The old soul's rise transforms from mortal to immortal. And consequently, you won't leave a corpse behind, while transforming during the resurrection. This applies to the living, the dead in Christ not the perished. Why the need for purification during aging? Older individuals while in chronic pain, forget God can heal cancers and diseases, even if they have heard it their entire life. Some youth are born with a lack of what's needed to excel in school, start taking steps backward. The resurrection is based upon obedience to biblical knowledge which means, you have full control of succeeding. This plays an important role in how long you live after it could be now or later. Most people wait till they have age to join the church, and wait till they have age before acknowledging what obedience refers to in the Bible. In great hopes, a resurrection takes place in a universal fantasy afterlife rather than the eternal life on earth. Purification vs. Righteousness. To purify is to be free of pollution which enables us to be free of evil, guilt, and shame. To be righteous is to appear, morally justified as an observer of the law while, embodying the virtuous godly character of upright ways. A person who is purified and righteous can likely be proven innocent in a court of law for the majority of the things they do. It has been confirmed natural processed food blends make people feel deserving, desirable, healthier, satisfied along with mental clarity. 
while unnatural processed food blends make people feel less deserving, less desirable, unhealthy, and unsatisfied along with no mental clarity. Since natural foods are harvested through ground soil in a garden it enables the formation of the earthly heaven. Eating processed foods as a non-Christian makes you perceive heaven doesn't exist, as a Christian, you wait to be taken in the clouds after death. For true discernment, heaven is on earth virtually and in the clouds spiritually. Heaven on earth is needed today over the afterlife heaven because we all have fallen short of God's glory. Fewer people here on earth have remained purified long enough to experience or value an earthly heavenly paradise. Just believing in God isn't enough to acknowledge true discernment for heaven on earth. And it isn't enough to get evil, guilt, and shame out of your heart. The virtual concept of heaven has been proven, the spiritual heaven can only be proven once you believe in that concept. You live in the here and now, in everything you do and heaven on earth has existed since the beginning of time. Many people quote the scripture if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Galatians 5:25. you are of spirit, therefore, you walk in the spirit, while living virtually. There is no denying virtual things exist. But you can't replace purification necessities for man-made virtue. The same reasoning applies while living on earth, if we live in righteousness let us also walk in the righteous substance. Heaven on earth establishes a need for judgment in wildernesses. Otherwise, unbelief in concepts of heaven on earth establishes no obedience in the here and now, nor self-control. Today many people feel justified in wrongful actions, and people don't want to put forth effort proving loyalty to God or creating a harvest flows like milk and honey. One excuse is the beasts on earth will eat up the harvest, however, according to the Bible beast was a problem then too. Beast and high prices appear to be obvious factors for not planting gardens, but life is unbearable to live by without an affordable harvest that flows like milk and honey. Why the righteous will power wins lost souls. When an enemy has access to control the wrong actions, emotions, and thoughts they won't value righteousness. A rich person may want someone to work for sinful sacrifices, a poor person may want someone to commit sinful acts, and a meek person may value righteousness over life itself. Once righteousness decreases in the world most won't be righteous enough to value reaching the lost. A person who is dead set on deceit will demand someone commit sinful acts against God's message. This means most won't value purification of the flesh, the meek will only value the spirit being controlled by the heart. And only the meek will value all becoming a living sacrifice for God. With the spirit being controlled by the heart and the mind being influenced by evil, the body won't acknowledge evil as a sinful sacrifice. The belief in higher righteousness decreases when the mind is incapable of acknowledging living sacrifices as a part of higher righteousness. The Dilemma Devaluing life has been dated AD and it is only one issue, being dead in Christ is the bigger issue. Since the beginning of time, people have broken more laws during the defilement of their bodies, ruining the person's reputation and testimony which has led to a routine system of unbelief in God's expectations of eternal life on earth, and this is one reason we have lost respect within communities. Believers often say they are happy with their lifestyle, when in fact, they acknowledge physical comforts more than non-believers. As a result, people who have health insurance go to doctors and agree to patch what can be done through natural foods. Also, nutritional doctors have been devalued since the 1980s, and during this time processed foods have become more available. Most haven't eaten properly because the processed foods satisfy their lustful desires. When believers acknowledge transformation through the word and don't acknowledge the purification of natural foods, the nitpicking of biblical meanings becomes all in all. Too many people have given up on a physical resurrection of an angelic appearance, and let me be clear, I don't believe in resurrection after perishing. I mean who wouldn't want to appear angelic while living? And is it wrong to doubt the physical resurrection in your current life? Actually yes. Jesus is the bread of life. In general, one must believe in physical purification to believe in Jesus Christ's revival as a form of resurrection. One must consider his concerns about the Bible. Also, one would need to appear physically dead without perishing. Even though once you become a believer of God you become worthy of all his higher values, this does include physical comforts. But it isn't about physical comforts, it is about saving and not hindering lives. God acknowledges when you mess up defiling your body playing down life for death. It is about the joy and love you have in the heart, the mercy, and the peace you bring along with the righteous intent. If you don't acknowledge mercy for people needing his guidance, and if you don't acknowledge a need for his guidance nor patience. You truly don't get why Jesus said, we will neither marry, and we will be as angels during the resurrection. When doubt and fear hinder prayers for trial tests, you tend to advocate death rather than living life's fullest. A testimony of my resurrection, in 1997 and 2004 I sustained major injuries in two separate car accidents, and the first injury had not healed before the second injury. During this lifetime cancer and diseases formed inside my body and this made me prone to infections. The result was an affliction, debilitation, and a bent over walk. My tribulation started in 2007 before my seven year tribulation but sitting and walking caused more affliction. Seeing individuals enjoying life's fullest made me want to walk suitable. 
Once the tribulation started, I would walk to obtain groceries and often to the library, and this made me feel refreshed each time. Midpoint into the seven-year tribulation my health worsened, and I couldn't afford natural foods or medical insurance. Furthermore, it became clear either I keep using my injured body parts, or otherwise I would never use them again. Literally by 2013, I felt near death. After five and a half years into the tribulation, I searched online for vitamins that relieved pain. When I read that natural foods and vitamins could heal, the article surprised me how cancer and diseases were results of the dietary deficiencies. This confirmed that I didn't need surgery to repair broken or infected body parts. After taking vitamins for one year they started healing me of cancer, diseases, and also the aging decreased. Once the inflammation decreased, the broken bones popped back in place and the infection cleared up. This enabled mental clarity to think rapidly something I never experienced. I have been saved by grace through faith since 2000 at age 29, and yet still clueless of what my call was until my resurrection. Until my Sunday school teacher Mrs. Trilla, O. Daniel said to the class tell your story as it relates to the Bible. This meant I had to relate to the characters. Since becoming saved I had taken notes to rely on good advice, and I had continually prayed for peace in my life. And like many individuals, I had squandered opportunities given. I have to admit my call is to increase belief in the natural healing of near-death related health issues with this book. I lived in Bethany, OK during the time of my resurrection. On March 5, 2014, at age 46 the idea to write a book came one year later. I would like to become the first fruits of individuals struggling with chronic pain, and it will take the average person two to five years if they're able to increase dosages. And behold, a woman, which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years, came behind him, and touched the hem of his garment, for she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Matthew 9 20-22, Just as she had faith in a touch of Jesus' garment, I had faith believing in Jesus, the Word, and taking vitamins. The vitamins indicated to me if individuals lived 200 years, they did not have to remain debilitated to life-threatening injuries. Just my opinion, the soul appears to be full of zest for life from the beginning of birth however, the soul can be weak from birth. If there is a half-soul in a person, the person probably won't live that long. Because it appears that the soul may owe a debt to society if it is partially present, and a human being wouldn't be capable of resurrecting on its own. Also, the human may not remain alive even if he or she is resurrected from the dead, the soul would still be weak of the spiritual path. The resurrection is a place of healing. Though God judges souls automatically, I experienced my soul being judged near death intensely. You are responsible for certain mistakes, and obviously, others lure you into making mistakes. Once you are resurrected, you be wanting to visualize past mistakes and backtrack steps, to avoid making the same mistakes again. The events and scenes you can control, you control, and give up control over the ones you cannot while, staying committed to events. However, once you are here there isn't much that can be changed from the past, but things can be overcome. After acknowledging righteous reasons for overcoming, life is like walking in the easy yoke of Christ. Today is a new day I desire to empower to impact, and I have been optimistic about God's purpose in working in others' lives. But generally, I have lived a carefree lifestyle, and I inherited it from my father. This means I consider helping people and sometimes putting them before my family or myself. Although I expressed to my father Lennox in 2014, how vitamins are reliable for healing contrary to prescription pills he was clueless. My Aunt Gussie's response was you are playing God by taking vitamins. Also, I sent letters to other family members in great hopes they certainly wanted to live a healthier lifestyle, but no one wrote back. The majority of people today achieve financial freedom early in life and then give up on eternal life on earth or earth becoming heavenly. Finally. I recognized they were concerned about getting their retirement money or keeping it. There are one out of three people in churches today, hear pastors read events that have taken place before and after Jesus Christ died, and still can't relate to the Bible how it relates to their life. Some individuals' hearts are hard and others' ears are closed. They probably are going to get away from the drug is that take over finances to leave you broke and naked, or probably in chronic pain as I had been. These are similar reasons God destroyed the world in the first place, and it is becoming less recognizable now. Although some religions believe in eternity or heaven, starts after death. I believe we can have both eternity and heaven on earth. I believe in the near-death resurrection of individual souls current, and ongoing. Eternity doesn't start with the perished, it starts when you become resurrected from sickness and death, after that, you are to remain purified. You are to live a life full of hope and peace through the journey in life. Life is a ruby go far with it. Automatic response if you are trying to get that massive paying job or build a fabulous empire you need to exercise. Exercise the body and mind, the opportunity may only come through the first response. 
once you start operating off should have, could have, or would have the opportunity fades away. Example, when I started my first online small business, sales started at a high. Everything I did was based on my first response, the automatic response. Eventually, sales were at a low and this is when I second guessed everything, and my second or third response would only get things done. Nevertheless, I started watching sales more which slowly faded away. Although I made huge mistakes along the way, I did learn valuable insight that can later be used to better my business on a long-term versus short-term basis. Otherwise, if you are a lazy person your automatic response might be a little fuzzy. Not to mention the nerves in the body can set off if responses are needed every minute to make massive dollars. I see why the rich hire smart individuals to be their automatic response. Coming together to heal nations requires your first response, God needs people to respond automatically to the dead in Christ. We all can envision a purpose to serve Him. The light of the first fruits shall direct the dead to Christ. How the Noah Covenant relates to the resurrection. Adam and Noah both have been representatives for the human government back in the day, at one time or another. After a person is resurrected, they can live a healthier lifestyle, which includes purification to remain incorruptible. HG has grown into a much bigger government today. The Department of Health and Human Services protects the health of all Americans and provides essential human services. And they are exercising their duties to help keep individuals healthy the best way they can. Medicaid is a U.S. government program, financed by federal, state, and local funds of hospitalization and medical insurance for persons of all ages within certain income limits. According to a 2012 survey, Medicaid only supported nutrition if you were already obese, as a strategy of overcoming or prevention. The body mass index, BMI, had to be 40 or higher, or 35 to 39.9 and that is with serious medical complications. Services had to be used for diagnosing, preventing, treating, or minimizing the effects of illness. The Medicaid services this refers to include, anorexiant, appetite suppressant, bariatric surgery, gastric bypass, morbid obesity, or listed, nutritional counseling, obesity, weight, weight loss, and xenical. All states ought to require prior authorization from a physician for any requests to use services, and after using a service the physician should be reimbursed. And generally, dietitian services are covered when provided by a registered dietitian licensed through the local state. However, in some states maintenance therapy, programs to improve overall fitness and weight loss programs were not covered services. Some states restricted eligibility for the benefits or excluded use for the prevention and treatment of obesity. In those states nutrition services were only covered for children under age 21 who are at high risk nutritionally. A complete physical exam or checkup is covered until a child turns 21. Nutritional services for the treatment of obesity were not covered unless there was documentation that obesity contributed to factors in another illness. Medicaid only considered coverage of gastric bypass surgery for adults on a case-by-case -case basis, with the appropriate documentation. If it is medically appropriate for the individual to have such surgery, and if the surgery was to correct an illness that was aggravated by obesity. As a result, it is highly recommended that beneficiaries and providers always check with their respective billing entities before assuming services are covered. Research involves disease, nutritional, and obesity, CPT stands for Common Procedural Therapy. No states covered all obesity-related disease management CPT codes. 19 states covered one or more obesity-related disease management CPT codes, of those states three imposed restrictions. 30 states covered no obesity-related disease management CPT codes, and only two states' coverage was undetermined. Seven states covered all obesity-related preventive care CPT codes, of those states two imposed restrictions such as limiting the number of reimbursable visits. 22 states covered one or more obesity-related preventive care CPT codes. 21 states covered no obesity-related preventive care CPT codes or no obesity-related preventive care services provider manuals, and only three states' coverage was undetermined as their Medicaid programs were administered by multiple insurers. Six states covered all obesity-related nutritional consult CPT codes, of those states two imposed restrictions such as limiting the number of visits or who can administer these services. 22 states covered one or more obesity-related nutritional consult CPT codes, of those states five imposed restrictions and two required prior authorization. 22 states covered no obesity-related nutritional consult CPT codes, and only one state coverage was undetermined. Statistics showed in the U.S. life expectancy for females was 81.2 years, and 76.4 for males between 2013 to 2014. Life expectancy for females remains higher than males. The leading causes of death were Alzheimer's disease, cancer, chronic lower respiratory diseases, diabetes, heart disease, influenza, kidney disease, pneumonia, stroke, suicide, and unintentional injuries. These 10 leading causes made up 73.8% of all deaths in 2014. There were 2,596,993 resident deaths in 2013 and 2,626,418 in 2014, 
an increase of 29,425 which lowered life expectancy. Statistics showed 2015 there were 10.2 million had active affordable health care insurance, decreasing uninsured people 26 and older. This decreased hospital uncompensated care costs by $7.4 billion in 2014, 5 billion was for Medicaid expansion though, ACA increased out-of-pocket expenses for millions of Americans who weren't covered by insurance. Some non-premium out-of-pocket medical care expenses outweighed some associate premium expenses for people under age 65. The government increased Medicaid eligibility in 2014 for people in poverty of expansion states, Republicans-led states rejected Medicaid expansions though, states still had the option to expand. As of 2016 in non-expansion states, 5.7 million Americans remained uninsured. Expansion states were more likely states felt an urgency to carry their health care overload responsibly. Many states showed expanding helped them generate money for their state. And ordinarily, the government spent more on citizens than non-citizens. Unfortunately, this increased Medicaid money for people above poverty in expansion states, than people in poverty of non-expansion states. Though this did nothing for uninsured people struggling to find jobs, programs, and services. Those services were decreasing rapidly with budget cuts in non-expansion states. This meant that insured people in non-expansion states would pay even more, once premiums increased and Congress budget reductions of health care services increased. It didn't change the fact doctor expenses continue to rise each year. This didn't change the fact medication doesn't increase life expectancy while medications do account for high rates of addictions in the U.S. An active covered person was expected to spend 75% more each year paying for coverage, buying natural foods, and paying for other expenses than expected. And if an active covered person's health got better long-term wise, they would still be left paying for ACA insurance plans. Optimistically the fact Obama administration implemented an Affordable Health Care Act was good for some people but not all. Though he took steps to decrease opioid addictions in 2016, no government out-of-pocket expenses will ever change people long-term wise. They must acknowledge a greater need for living righteously for God to overcome these addictions. And you can't force people to buy medical health care regardless of whether they are going to use it or not, it decreases a need to eat natural foods or take vitamins. These are natural nutrients the body already needs. One of the goals he had for ACA was to reduce visits to emergency departments for uninsured individuals. This was creating a strain on costs with high volumes of patients needing the costlier services. Statistics showed in 2014 visits to ER had not changed much from the year before, and 7.9 million had obtained coverage between the two years. The new insured were supposed to seek medical help earlier with their doctors as symptoms developed. And sure, it was wrong but most people have overcome those perspectives. Though a person that is brain dead cannot function once the machines are turned off. The term persistent vegetative state is used for a deep state of unconsciousness. Only non-cognitive functions of the brain still function, during this time of unconsciousness the heart may still be beating and lungs may still be breathing in air. Doctors keep patients on life support, either to give the family or out-of-town relatives time to come to say goodbye. And allow them to decide if the patient's organs can be donated. My mother Regina was on life support a month while she originally went to the hospital for bronchitis. She was in for two months before my sister a nurse told the doctors to take her off life support. We didn't have the money to continue keeping her on life support. I wouldn't have made that decision, my belief is karma comes back to bite. My dad had gone to see her before she passed at age 59, but unfortunately, she didn't acknowledge anyone. She had smoked Marlboro cigarettes her entire adult life up until three years before she passed. I have always believed the cigarettes had a huge effect on her lungs in the last years of her life. When doctors were advising the family to pull the plug on other family members, they were telling them one case of a person didn't recover while withholding information could give them a full recovery. Some doctors had even decided to end a person's life without telling family or staff members. In surgery cases, they were telling patients one case of surgery working, without telling them how many weren't successful. They were not telling the full story giving partial statistics, and without your full acceptance, it rushes a decision. If you weren't acceptable before receiving the advice, it shouldn't sway a decision. Doctors should stop advising patients to agree to surgery doesn't need to take place. Furthermore, stop advising the family to pull the plug on other family members, all while acknowledging other ways they can make a full recovery. When SSA was advocating for recipients to remain on their deathbed to continue receiving services for those under age 65, the fear of retirement age continually rising. It wasn't empowering the unhealthy people to use willpower to live a healthier lifestyle, and this wasn't taking compassion for people in their time of need. Just based on biblical facts people didn't need medical drugs, long-term stay at hospitals, excessive hospital visits, or mental treatment facilities. And ordinarily, they lived a considerably longer, promising, and happier lifestyle. As people go forward getting away from the reality of better health. The results are out-of-pocket money for healthcare insurance, 
while an actively insured person can't get better even if they want to. While medical doctors go out their way to protect and serve, we people have a responsibility to do some of this work ourselves. We have all at one time put trust in medical doctor care when many of us have heard of errors in doctor procedures. Some medical doctors are well educated in areas that require knowledge of nutritional benefits but haven't been shared often. Also, some medical doctors were developing ways to pocket spending once they were aware patients had great coverage of health care insurance, by exercising more visits and hospital stay. All this led to medical doctors profiting massive dollars. Everyone had been talking about this for years, and yet not enough has been done to repeat offenders of health care fraud. If the parent agency is a part of helping medical doctors pocket spending, they must change their evil ways so everyone can overcome. Medical insurance should support more nutritional doctors versus medical doctors for people under 65 and without obesity priorities. This would decrease SSA work overloads long-term wise. When the FDA was recommending using caution by taking vitamin supplements, people needed to start early in life to maintain their healthy growth of organs, to live a longer life. The sooner organs are repaired for the elderly their health problems can fade away. Stem cell replacement isn't always a favorable option for the poor elderly. Our society had gotten away from what it meant to have good health. Once people get on track with their daily food allowances, they must not distort their eternal focus with medical practices. It takes too long to get back on track some may never get back on track, and this is a sign of living to die versus dying to live. You don't go giving the agencies a hard time, we ask them to do right by us people. It's time to once again shine through a better quality of life. Putting helpful services on the back burner means waiting for death to occur. Although AFDC has provided nutritional classes, nutritional classes, and offering food stamps with nutritional pamphlets, to the poor isn't enough without knowing their dietary deficiencies. This has only resulted in parents still buying junk foods, obesity is still prevalent. Fitness classes ought to be also recommended to mothers who are overweight with kids, to help prepare for work with more becoming obese. Whatever you value most, gets the most attention. Nutritional doctors were the all-in-all all when it came to great doctor care. My personal opinion people over the age of 19 must eat natural foods along with taking a vitamin supplement. Teens put wear and tear on the body early, which results in aging, and some teens aren't getting nutritional support at all. Sure, it is easy for religious to say, the word is how people can be purified. The raw truth of human health has been declining since the medical doctors been recommending, more hospital visits and surgery as their overall plan to better health. This hasn't increased mental clarity it has only decreased mental clarity, along with people's zest for life. People need mental clarity to believe in God wholeheartedly, also to overcome obstacles. Conclusion on vitamins and medical doctor care It is easy for medical doctors to deny patients need vitamin supplements when they are not eating natural foods. Once individuals put wear and tear on their body's structure, they have also increased cell damage of organs. Some medical doctors aren't fully taking into consideration the effects of long-term organ damage concerning cost. If organs aren't repaired early enough, adults must be able to increase vitamin dosages during elderly ages, along with eating natural foods to repair cell damage of organs faster. From taking vitamins myself and eating some natural foods, I acknowledge most people wait till they get older and then can't afford to eat healthier. Their health will have already suffered a massive loss of nutrition, and are very much on the way to chronic cancers and diseases. This can leave them eternally incarcerated in the mind. If you recognize an older person lacking nutrition, help them get a complete source of vitamin supplements. Once they start recovering from chronic cancers and diseases this is the start to unlocking eternal incarceration of the mind. God is the God of all things including biology. Once he created heaven on earth, his control over biology after that transpired. Biology is how people exist in the world today, it explains how bad health occurs. The study of biology includes DNA and RNA, protein chemistry, molecules, human viruses, and protein metabolism and vitamins minerals. And more consist of details to repair human health. Biblical knowledge, surgery, nor requiring hospital visits aren't enough, to repair human health long term wise. Forensics use more biology than people or medical doctors today. It is no secret people are learning less, in colleges and schools according to analysts. The fact is people need certain natural foods, as a car needs gas for maintenance. And nevertheless, people value putting gas in cars rather than putting natural foods in their bodies. The result of bad health we can become supportive parents wholeheartedly by stop allowing cop-out quotes, rob our kids of a healthier lifestyle. Many laws that were created back in the day are obsolete or have taken a new and greater path. Like the human government has. Parents haven't been able to discipline their kids effectively, for allowing the authority to do it for them. The result is a massive rebellion of kids and teens as a whole. Also, the result is parents not wanting to be held accountable for evil and wicked deeds they have done throughout their children's upbringing. But faith doesn't mean giving up. We need faith in ourselves just as we put faith in authority. Teachers and authorities both have families they have to attend to. 
With these setbacks, people now think they should be unaccountable for pretending to be an angel of death. And it isn't fair for kids to grow up parentless. Accountability starts with self-awareness if we don't value natural resources, why have them? This contemporary world has started to mean doing without natural resources and aiming, for more material stuff. Idols are something many gods discussed throughout the writings of the Bible. The entire human race has fallen once again, no one has done what they are supposed to do. I have to say it, sure we are a disconnected society and everyone's guilty of greed in one form or another. How can kids respect authority, elders, or parents if we haven't been achieving greed for God's glory? It is time to pick ourselves up and move to the next anchor in life as a whole. Unity through natural foods for purification does show accountability. We don't need the Bible as a form of human government, but we do need to exercise our right to live a healthier lifestyle.